Though the Catholics of Brooklyn are still waiting for a saint from their borough, the Orthodox Church already has one, St. Raphael of Brooklyn. This missionary was known for gathering together those from his tradition who had scattered when they came to North America. Although this was his base, he traveled so extensively trying to find uh, scattered um, Syrian, Lebanese, Orthodox Christians, not only in the U.S., but also in Canada and Mexico. Orthodox Christians gather Friday night to celebrate the 100th anniversary of St. Raphael's death. Although the Catholic Church and Orthodox Church share common roots and many traditions, such as the veneration of saints, they are not fully united with one another. The Orthodox Church does not accept the primacy of the Pope, but rather local patriarchs are in charge of regional churches. During St. Raphael's time, Orthodox Christians were scattered across the country without a shepherd to unite them. Now, within five hours, I am in California, for example. But his time used to, from uh, Brooklyn to Los Angeles, for example, it took him three months to get there. So imagine the difficulty uh, he lived. Metropolitan Joseph now follows in St. Raphael's shoes and leads all those of the Antiochian Orthodox tradition in the United States and Canada. He himself is from Syria, like St. Raphael. And as one prelate tells me, today, a hundred years after the saint's death, history is repeating itself. St. Raphael's parents had to flee from their homeland because of a massacre by jihadists. And today, Christians of Syria are facing the same situation. You know, our patriarch is, uh, is calling on people to stay there, but it's, at the same time it's very difficult because they're desperate. The Middle East without Christians will be, it will lose its salt, it will lose its flavor. They're the people that connect different groups to each other and, and peacefully. But ISIS steadily takes hold of large swaths of land where the faith was born, driving out some Christians and massacring others. The Antiochian church can already count many modern martyrs. They've also heard nothing from two of their bishops who were kidnapped in Syria about two and a half years ago. We still pray for them with the living, but God knows at this point. But definitely we have priests who have been martyred and lay people for their faith, so there will be new saints from this recent uh, persecution for sure. These Christians feel like nobody's got their back and nobody cares. And as the nations of the earth seem willing to do little to save their church, the Syrian Christians are relying on the heavenly help of St. Raphael of Brooklyn. We pray to God through his intercessions to bring peace to Syria and uh, to the Syrian people. Reporting for Currents from St. Nicholas Antioch and Orthodox Cathedral, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.